Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to the tarot room. But Cappy, grab a seat, get comfortable, get yourself cozy, and let's talk about your love life today, because today we're going to do a love reading. We're going to find out what's going on, what's coming your way, what's been happening, what you need to know. Um, in the pre-shuffle, I did see the fool, so that's a good thing. So let's talk about your cap spirit, guys. What's going on with Capricorn and love? Let go of control issues, so allow this situation to unfold naturally. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> and Kat, for those of you who are interested, um, I am doing a contest right now and I'm giving away some free readings. So it's my way of saying thank you so much for all your support and kind words and views on this channel. That's amazing. I genuinely appreciate you guys. Um, so the best way I can show that is by giving you free readings. So if you want one, just like, comment, subscribe, typical YouTube style. And on November 5th, um, I believe it's tomorrow, I will comment and I will also, sorry, I will reply to your comment. But I'll also post it in the community section. So the scammers that came on my last contest and they got a few people. So go to the community section. Make sure it's me that's telling you you won. Um, and that way you get your free reading. Um, and you don't get scammed. Because I don't want any scammed in my name. So in Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Cups in reverse. The Empress in reverse. All right. What else we got for you, Cap? So you know what to do. Protect yourself. Don't be giving anybody any money because it's a free reading. <laughs> Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Empress in reverse. What else do we have here? What else do you want to say to Capricorn Spirit, guys? So, the Ten of Swords in reverse. The That had to come out. I told you. I saw that in the pre-shuffle. So, something new is coming through here. The Five of Swords in reverse. Talk about this, Cap. And on the bottom, we have the Two of Swords in reverse. And the, and the bottom of the deck, sorry, is the Knight of Swords in reverse. So, what's with that knight? Ooh, the Zitawa and the Hanged Woman. So, um, let's see. I feel like that's, try not to take things too fast. You, um, let's see what this is going on here. So with the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups in reverse to start this, with the Empress and the Four of Pentacles. So, what is this Six of Pentacles in reverse? What do you want to say? This is usually my past energy and this is usually like my present energy. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you go. So um, Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Devil and the Five of Pentacles. So you were giving more than you were receiving, whether it's from one person or several people in the past. It was just the kind of thing where like the other person would text like a line and you beat your text would be that big, right? You just got to the realization of, wait a minute, I'm putting way more effort in here. I'm not really getting it received. Um, that doesn't make me feel good, <laughs> number one. But it also um, is me showing less value. If someone's not giving you the energy, then just pull yourself back, right? Why give it? continue to give to someone who's not giving to you? And that's what you did. And you've released that person or that archetype or people who are like that. You're not giving to that anymore. Exactly. You're not giving to that anymore. So um, you're going to wait till someone actually reciprocates and puts the effort in. The right person will, right? The wrong people won't. Um, so Ten of Swords in reverse. That's what I thought. You're ready. So the justice in reverse, the eight of wands. Yeah. And the four. Ooh. Okay. And the wheel of before. Ah, oh, is it temperance? Your patience is going to pay off your cap. So um, you're releasing anything that wasn't fair. Sometimes it's not fair. Like some, And a lot of times, let's be real, it's not personal. A lot of us, like it's really difficult when we date and stuff, but we take all that rejection or those people who aren't giving us our effort. They, half the time we take it really personal and 99.9% .9 of the time it doesn't have anything to do with us. <laughs> Usually it's people just dealing with their own stuff. They just don't know how to deal with everything. Um, so it's part of understanding that and moving forward, but it's also part of recognizing the red flags when you see them and pulling back. Once you see that red flag, we don't just try to, we, we recognize it and we pull back. We don't, um, we don't give it energy. Exactly. We walk away, right? That's not the right person. There's a quality about them. That's not going to work long term. They're not, you know, whatever that is and move on. Um, cause they're not the person for you. And like I said, it's not personal. <laughs> well, it's not, like there's in our life, there's only one person for us. The rest of them aren't for us. So we got a fool here. Let's see who's fool. Let's see who fool is rushing in here for the Capricorn. So anyway, I just feel like it's a, it's a healing time and you're coming out of that period. So I am speaking to a single cap. Speaking to a cap who may not have known their value in the past, but they do now and they're not going to settle for anything less. So let's talk about this new beginning that's coming through. So the fool, I feel like you might want to, like the message is to, to let the universe guide you, which is really hard when you meet someone that you like or whatever. Let's see. So the fool, the emperor in reverse, the six of swords in reverse, the eight of cups. 
the two of wands in reverse. So I don't, I just see, I don't, uh, I don't see a new person here. I just see you having a new beginning. It's like a fresh, it's like a new you, a fresh happy. You're not focusing on the past. It's like you're waking up, you got a new pep in your step. You're ready for new love. You're, you know, you're, um, like I'm seeing the beginning of the Grease movie. I don't know why I'm seeing that. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but that's what I'm seeing because it's kind of exciting. It's like a new day. You're going to new school. It's a new year. <laughs> it's a new you. You're just, you're done with those people. I feel like you're just feeling good about yourself and you're not letting them control you anymore. Anyone who's not unreliable, anyone who's not going to give what you want, anyone who's not going to give you what you deserve, you're just going to walk away from them. And that's what's going to, and you're going to be patient and wait for the right one. Yeah, you've learned your lesson, man. You have learned your lesson. You're at peace with it. So what is the two of swords in reverse? The ace of swords. Is that temperance again? might be meeting a Sagittarius maybe because temperance just keeps flying around all over here but the ace of swords like you might be getting communication from a, a Sag um or a soulmate I don't the six of pentacles in reverse oh my god Capricorn <laughs> don't hate me don't hate me um the person that didn't give to you before that's who's coming back and I feel like you're just like, what the, f like, I feel like, what the fuck? Like, that's who's coming back. And it's been a slow ass process with this person. But just as you're releasing them, just as you're moving forward, they're coming back with like some serious truth that they, they want, they want it. They've been stressing. So they've been, they're gonna, yeah, they're coming back. What the, yeah, they want to work on this, the wounded warriors. So what are they coming, like, what the hell? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They're about to tell you that it wasn't the right time before. They know what they want. Now, they might have even ghosted you. I had this for a cap. Maybe it wasn't cap. I had this reading like maybe three or four months ago where the ghoster returned. And I feel like I'm picking up to the same kind of energy here. Um, some of us are going through that again, I guess. But well, I don't know if anyone ghosted me. I think I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this is my reading. <laughs> but what do you want to say about this person who, who, went, who didn't give to cap? How's cap going to know who this is? What do you Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in the Chariot. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Leo. Um, it's exactly what I said. It's somebody that, this is the person that made you realize your value. So this is the person that was kind of like your final straw. It was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with that anymore. I'm too good for that. Well, yeah, you are too good for that. And they realize that too. And their intuition's guiding you directly to you. <laughs> so maybe they were, whoa, whoa. Maybe you gave them a tower moment when you walked away. Maybe finally standing up for yourself and valuing yourself made this person realize um, who you are. Look at that. Look at that. You don't know what you got till it's gone. And that's what this is. Yeah, look at that. Maybe they didn't go silent. Um, this could have just been them realizing. So for some of you, though, I do feel like they did. But for some of you, they didn't go silent. It wasn't like they just stopped talking to you. It's maybe you went silent on them. Ho, ho. Because they weren't giving it to you. But they just realized what they want. They've got this ace of wands here. Um, they got a, you know, a staff for you. <laughs> and uh, they want to move forward. They're determined. So, damn. They're disappointed without you. Look at this. What a, what a, like the tables, like what a turn of events. So... You give up on this person, you move forward, you realize your worth, you're like, screw you, I'm too good for you. And then they come back realizing that you probably are too good for them and they don't want to lose you. So let's get a few Oracle messages and we'll see where you are in a month, Cap, because, um, <laughs> isn't that always the way? What does Capricorn need to surrender to when this person makes a grand return? Defensiveness. See, that's the thing. With these messages, the tarot and their spirit guides, whoever this reading is for, whoever it's resonating, they want you to um, listen to this person. And like I feel like they want you to allow this to unfold naturally. So it may not have happened the way you wanted it to, but the universe is asking you to um, trust them, which is all right. Let's get the rest. But defensiveness is a sign of weakness. So to communicate in a more empowered way. Stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear, non-defensive response. But I don't know, because if someone, I don't know, I'm a Cappy Venus, and if someone did that once to me, I'll be like, huh, <laughs> I don't know about this. So, I, I, I don't know, I can understand your hesitancy. 
<laughs> what is the Karen connection here? Dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. Oh, Cap, look at this. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. You have to trust the process. So, damn. All right. So this person, you just realized how much you mean to them. What do they have to say? If they could say something, what would it be? What do you want to say? What is the hidden true spirit? Guys, right, Cap, record. <laughs> oh, I know I crossed the line with you. Oh, I had a reading a couple days ago about that. So, the one who crossed the line, <laughs> which might be why you're just like, I don't know about this. So, this person pushed you away. They probably did that to push you away, but damn, do they regret that decision? All right, what's the energy oracle message? What do you want to say to Capricorn? Blossoming a. Like, the, that's what I'm saying, though. The. the Hmm, I'm curious to see what you're going to do. First chakra, Archangel Michael. So whenever the chakras come out in reverse in this deck, it's just a sign that some of our chakras might be in balance. If you don't care about your chakras, you can ignore this message, Cap. But if you do, maybe it's a message to do some binaural beats, some guided meditation, some chakra works. Just get your energy points centered within yourself. Um, again, rest from divination. So meditate and really silence your mind because I know you're not, you're, I, I can feel your energy here. You're going to be like, no, no. And you're like, Robin, shut the fuck up. No, but the spirit guides really want you to consider this because there's blossoming abundance here. <laughs> so let's see how this person comes in. I know you're going to be resistant and I know you're going to be defensive, but the cards are very clear with what the message is that they want to give to you when this person comes and returns here. Oh, okay. What do you need to let go of? I know. I can feel you. I know, Captain. All right. What does Capricorn need to let go of? Surrender to the pulse that moves you towards your creative destiny, a life of great purpose. Hmm, I like it. All right, let's get your potential outcome. So I'm going to say potential because there's always free will. <laughs> you're going to make the decisions you're going to make. Um, I don't know what the cards want you to do, but um, and I'm going to say outcome. But where are you in a month? Let's see, because um, this person's reconnecting with you. They're coming back. They regret it. They realize, you know, the old saying, you don't know what you got till it's gone. They understand now. Um, but you know, you matter too. So let's get, uh, the, let's get the potential outcome. So, and that's the thing. That's why this is the overall energy here. Cause this is kind of a powerful, but the way, see, there's a five of cups. So you're holding on to what happened. The tower in reverse is about resisting changes, holding on to old stories, holding on to what happens, not releasing it. The hanged woman in reverse is about looking at it differently and not allowing that to block us so <laughs> that's what that is there <laughs> oh your spirit guides capricorn your spirit guides all right let's get your potential in from here are you ready all right so what does capricorn do where's capricorn in this person in a, in a month from now spirit guides what do you want to say i don't want to say anything <laughs> strength in reverse okay let's cut it restart what else we got? So there's your anxiety. There's some nervousness. What else do you want to say here? Where's Capricorn in a month? Are they with this person? Do they block them? Are they with someone new? What you want to say? The Five of Pentacles. What's in between these two cards? Let's shake out. I have a hard time finding them in this deck, but I just love this deck, so I'm not going to stop using it, so just bear with me. There it is. Death. So we have the strength. Death. The Five of Pentacles. So much drama. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Holy shit. And then the Wheel of Fortune. What the? And then the Ten of Cups in reverse. Hmm. What's with that? And the Three of Cups. Oh, oh Capricorn. I'm a little confused because here's the thing. <laughs> no, here's the thing. You're nervous. This person makes you nervous. So um, you have a lot of anxiety and I mean, obviously, because of the history, too, you're, there's a little bit of trust issues, there's anxiety, there's nervousness, but you're worried that they're going to make you feel left out. I don't know what I don't understand here, because we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Ace of Wands. They're both in reverse, but then we have this Wheel of Fortune. So this is an energy of like, of ending that, but not being certain, of wanting to move forward, but this person makes you nervous. You want to reunite, there's the Three of Cups, but there's an... So you wanted to invest in this. So let's just get clarity on the eight of Ace of Wands in reverse. Because I know this is, um, these are fears. You're worried that you're going to get left out of the cold. They're not going to give again all of a sudden. You know, they're giving to you now. But then their texts are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And you don't matter anymore. You have that fear. 
that they're just going to do what they did before, right? Um, but then the Wheel of Fortune is there. So it's like things are changing. Maybe they're proving to you that, that they're, they do want this. They've realized. They've changed. I don't know. What is Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups in reverse? What do you want to say about that? Can you clarify it so I understand the message for Cat, please? Is that Knight of Swords in reverse? The Hermit. The Three of Swords. I don't think it came out in the... The Ace of Cups. So you've thought about this. You're not rushing in. So the Knight of Swords in reverse is an energy. You're not going to go too fast here. You're going to take this slow because you are worried that they're going to hurt you. They did hurt you before. Um, so you're going to take this slow. I feel like with the Hermit, you're keeping your feelings um, to yourself here, Capricorn. So you're just taking things slow, but I feel like you know that there's a strong connection. You know this could go somewhere. But it's like, um, it's like you're excited, but you're going to be excited in a different room. You're not going to let this person know. <laughs> You know what I mean? So there's disappointment here. But yes, you're dating this person. You're getting together with them. You're getting to reconnect with them. But there are these fears and insecurities. So you're just taking it slow. But I do feel like divine timing is at play here. There's a strong connection. And the Wheel of Fortune means um, S-U-C-C-E-S-S. -S, if you want it, that's up to you. If you can forgive, yes. If you can let the divine guide you, I believe this is the person. They're going to divinely guide you too. <laughs> so I believe that this is your person. But um, there's been some conflict and you have to decide what you want to do. But I see you taking things slow to open up your heart to this person. But I do see you um, engaging in this cat. So that's what I have. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. I hope it benefited you. If it did, um, please like, comment, subscribe. Get yourself entered for that free reading. And on November 5th, I'll be announcing the winners. And let's get your final message. If you feel burnout setting in, if you feel demoralized and exhausted, it is best for the sake of everyone to withdraw and restore yourself. Walk to your favorite coffee shop for an afternoon pick-me-up or brew a cup of tea as you take a few minutes to reflect and recharge. So I got Cap, we wish you the best of luck. Until next time.